Playing at least shoot Larry Seven. So in the last one, we got a hold of accidentally, honestly, of uh, the uh, jugs, <laughs> and uh, we ended up back in our room after a nice little romp on stage. Now we've been still trying to work on a few things in our inventory. We've got the uh, not our inventory, but this check sheet. Take a look at it. We still got a few to go. Looks like we got full points on the craps tournament completed, and the Love Master 2000. We still got to try to figure out how to cook for the cook-off contest, which I have a lot of the ingredients for the recipe we found. And we still got to go back and do the poop deck as well as bowling. So we got a few things we're going to best dress man one. Which we're losing everything. The only one I haven't tried is this, but we'll get these filled as we go. So we need to um, kind of exit. Thank you. I want to see what this is because it looks like, yep. The steam mold. from Drew's shower has produced a small patch of mold. Let's take some of it. That's obviously the reason why she was here. Every girl in every play in these things usually has a purpose. So by that right, we need to go back to the little seaman's lounge and see if we can find anything here of use. This stage is a veritable vaudevillian's graveyard where talentless acts go to die. Okay. Nothing else to pick up or anything like that? I thought there'd be something here. It looks like there isn't. Hey, keep going. Yeah, nothing here for us. Alright, so I'm going to shoot onto the map. And we're going to go ahead and... Uh, I want to go and take a look. Um, I was thinking about this... This... Where did it go? This room right here. This guy was working up here before. And we've been talking about these spikes. Oh, what's the menu? There we go. From way down here, it's difficult to be sure. But there may be a metal spike protruding through the ceiling. And I get the feeling, based on the map... When you look at this, we are here, and above us is, and above the circle, see how this circle is like lined up with this circle? It looks like these spikes are actually part of the horseshoe contest, so we might be able to find a way to fiddle with those. We can get back up to the top, yeah, we can't cool, because uh, when we destroyed this statue, uh, Bob Ross, or whatever his name was on there, was definitely gotten rid of. From up here, it's easy to see a large steel spike has been driven right through the ship's deck from above. Yep. A flathead screwdriver lies on top of the sculptor's toolbox. Is it going to take that? Anything else? This toolbox is filled is with all the tools your modern dice sculptor needs. There once was a screwdriver right on top. Yeah, until we took the only reason you want to feel that is because you expect to hear something about long and hard, right? I have Sorry. no idea what you're talking about, even though he kind of did already tell us that. Well, let me see if there's some things we can fiddle with in here. I couldn't find anything to use in here, but I feel like every time you have things with females, you've got Your to figure something please. out on here. So Bill I'm taking a quick look at this again. Disco Marathon competition. Damn. Backdrop. I was gonna go climb up onto the stage. How about that? We were up here, and there's usually a purpose to all of this. There we go. Chasing lights. I knew there's something that we had to get. Had to be something to get out of here. From their clothing in the frenzy of our passionate lovemaking. And Either since, that or their batteries run down. I'll take that and since there's nothing else in my what inventory to mess to with that spike, with I'm gonna go try them out. I'm gonna try them out on the uh, on the spike is what I'm gonna do actually, because every time there's anything like this, you usually have to try new items. So I tried everything else on this thing. I might as well try this as well. Yeah, to your reason, I don't know what for. The chase light wrapped steel spike would look sort of Christmassy if it were green and cone shaped and sticking up through the floor. But instead, it's steel and pointy and sticking down through the ceiling. Completely different. I don't have a way to use these things. I'm going to continue searching around.
found some more on the stage. Turns out there's a little backstage thing here. Let's take a look at what we there's got on the Mr. Microphone. Dildo. Not quite. Is he here though? Now that I think about it, where is Dildo? The Jugs spare no expense bringing the utmost in musical realism to their act. Karaoke Joy Joy. Jeez, a nasty fucking right here. <laughs> they messed this place up. The remote though. That's the remote control the sound engineer uses to turn ah, on and off the jug's electric clothing. That's exactly what I was looking for. There's a remote possibility uh, you could use uh, that. <laughs> you haven't seen a mixer like this since you ran sound for that rock band back in high school. Oh, yeah? Why not use it? No. Leave well enough alone. I don't wanna. Touch, touch. You just love to touch, touch, touch. <laughs> Feel it up too. Well, what's this? The sound man <laughs> left his earplugs oh, hey. lying under the mixer. That come in handy. Ah, oh, look at that. Professional audio engineers always use earplugs when working around high sound pressure levels to ensure their hearing remains sensitive and accurate. Ugh, I don't want those. They'll be all waxy. Yeah, no, I never know. I might these are unused. Hmm. I think our lime juice and some of our ingredients, like the kumquat and the lime juice and stuff for the recipe that we're actually working for. Look Someone this one. used this page from Professional Hash Slinger magazine to wrap old fish. Well, shouldn't that be a job for a professional fish wrapper magazine? We read it. There should this be a thing page in there. contains the recipe yeah, this for one. Venezuelan beaver cheese. We need beaver milk. The ingredients include beaver milk. As always, milk from the elusive Venezuelan beaver is much preferred. We got a the pinch rennet. of salt, rennet, for and which lime juice may be substituted in a pinch, and a hint of mold. Now for the details of preparation. Hey! You made a subi as what a damn oh. oh stop so we can make this quiche if we got our kumquat we've got uh we need something that's salty we've got the mold and we've got the lime juice I'm sure we'll figure out the rest somewhere Cybersmith 2000. Yeah. that was random i was just checking all my ingredients your all right. attention please all right let's go see if turning the lights on makes us competition by hoisting a full load. <laughs> Let's go and see if we can find a, um, see what happens if we turn the lights on on this thing. Ah, uh, yeah, turn it on. Oh, shit, it's a magnet. <laughs> I see exactly where this is going. All right, let's go ahead and take ourselves to the horseshoe competition. We got this shit now. Let's go ahead and slide our card into this thing's butthole. And, uh, yeah, win this shit. <laughs> Don't even feel bad about it, man. I'm about to win hard. Oh, <laughs> Can't mess up now. Uh, let's see. Use... Can I use the remote on it? Watch out! There we go, turn on. Now, play. Can't miss. Look at them skills. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Mad skills. Another ringer. What, what? What, what? I'm the Your best. Your attention, what, what? please. Larry Lapper has just won the horseshoe tossing portion of the competition with a record high perfect score of 100 points. Damn Congratulations, straight. Congratulations, Larry. You really stuck it to him. <laughs> cheated. I mean, I didn't cheat at all. Look at my card uh, back out of there. Oh, yeah, it's I nice hope deep. that's my card. Here we go. Look at that card. Yes, we're getting there. We're getting there. So we gotta figure out the tail deck bowling and we gotta figure out this recipe. It might be even a good idea. I wanna go the oh shit, I don't wanna go here. I wanna go to the um 
wrong one. I want to go to the kitchen. Which was here. There we go. Let's see if we can start figuring out this recipe. Let's see. So if we start cooking, we're going to need a pot we got here. Oh, yeah. You got a little animation now. I'm going to need the pot here for cooking. We'll take that. Uh, let's see. We got a fish heads in here. Tube of entrails. Ooh, man. No. Not Fifi. Fifi. Hey, there's some salt. That's exactly what I was looking for, too. Pass some of that the salt. salt. Yes. That's not funny. Okay, you try making the jokes all the time. Um, uh, the recipe needed beaver milk. Let's go down to the hold and get that. See if we can milk some beavers. Uh, milk them. If you think you're man enough, good go luck. Just like that one that's humping the shit out of the log. Well, I bet they're liking it. it ain't the kind of milk we're thinking, huh? <laughs> we satisfied ourselves some beaver. Was it good for you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Let's take that back to the kitchen and we can actually try to make this. We need to make beaver cheese. I know that was one of the things. Then we could turn that into a quiche. So let's take the beaver milk. Wherever that may be. Milk, 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 milk. Venezuelan beaver milk. The white cell Let's is see. And Some beaver oil. milk. This mold scraped from my shower wall. A pinch of salt. And this lime juice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dump that in there and we're good to go. Oh, and it on voila, delicious beaver Venezuelan cheese. beaver cheese. Hell hey, yeah. You, that stuff stinks. No. Nope. <laughs> I don't want nothing to do with that. Now, all right, let me check the recipe again, but I think there's some other steps to this. Uh, wrong one. Read. This page contains the recipe for Venezuelan beaver cheese. The ingredients include beaver milk. Hey, you made a subiism. What? A subiism. Damn you. Oh, you mean. Oh, we got more. stop we go. your whining. Here, the back contains the recipe for Venezuelan beaver cheese and kumquat quiche. The ingredients include beaver cheese and a sliced kumquat. Okay, that's all we need. So, let's use the carving knife on this to slice it up. You set the cute little kitchen timer for exactly 55 minutes. Mix the kumquat into your pot of beaver cheese, throw in a few <laughs> more things you find lying under the kitchen counter, then place the entire mess in a clean baking dish and slam it in the oven. Well, okay. A baking dish. Hey, that doesn't smell half bad. Is there one good no, smell on there? No, it smells all bad. Oh, okay. What the hell is this? Why did a pig and a python show up now? Yeah, right? Artistic license. Interesting. All right. We'll just go ahead and get on out of here. Uh, see if we can take it to the um, eating contest. Hopefully we don't have to redo it. Where is that? 510 cooking contest down here. There we go. There you go. I have a feeling it's not as good as I'm expecting it to be. Proudly, you present your concoction for evaluation by the panel of esteemed chefs. The scorecard, please. Mm. Mm. Julia, I'm sorry. Thank you, Mr. Marfa. Yeah, it's awful. Well, let's see now. <laughs> okay, it's not very good. <laughs> I don't even think it's going to go to the next one because you well, stop spitting all over me. This has nothing to distinguish it from the hundreds of other Venezuelan diva cheese quiches we've endured. Oh, Lord. Although the essence of kumquat does help slightly. <laughs> what? I don't even want to bother tasting it then. Wait, <laughs> I might want to try. No, never mind. Dang, okay. All right. <laughs> Will I get it back? Okay, I did. Good. I didn't help me out very much, but at least I got that back. 510, this is what I was trying to look for. 
Oh, this is her room that we were playing the thing in. I forgot we went here to to do the um the what you call it contest. Now the you see strip clearly. The top table is perfect for playing games involving stripping. Yep, that was her point. What's this? Doomy's bottle of orgasmic powder is either half empty or no, no it's, it's definitely, definitely half. half empty. All right. Well, let's take that. Let's make our let's make our uh, concoction a little better. Ah, uh, let's see. They won't be able to resist. Hmm. This ought to spice it up a little. If nothing else, they'll have themselves a disgusting orgy I don't think I want to see. Would you like to try my, my, my quiche one more time? I think I've made it a little better. Quiche de Proudly, you there you go. present your special enhanced concoction for evaluation by the panel of esteemed chefs. If nothing else, I'm going to see some shit I didn't want to ever see. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Lava. Well, what do we have here? Uh, they don't recognize it, huh? It's the same thing we had uh, earlier. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'll have what yes. she's had. Well, delightful. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> you may not know much about cooking, but you know what they like. Look at those scores. You just won the cook-off competition. Nice. That's all we had to do. We're good to go. <laughs> we just had to make them super, super horny. That's all it took. All right, cool. Well, I've been ending all of my episodes down in the... Uh, in my space. Let's, let's go to the pool. Because that was a fun play. Your oh, there's another dildo. I'm going to go back and talk to her, see if she's still pissed Hiya. off at us. Yeah. No, she's gone forever. All right. If this stuff doesn't work the way it does, how about I use this uh, orgasmic Those powder on it? Together? Hardly. Oh. Do I have to go over to it? This is all that's left of Drew's gigantic erection. Me too. She's gone forever. I can't put some orgasmic no. powder in her. Uh, oh well. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. I hope that you guys are enjoying this. If you are, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day. Hey, fellow Asians. Don't forget to like and subscribe by clicking the button in the center of the screen. You can also find the last video by clicking the button to the left. And you can take a look at some of the other stuff I've done by clicking the button to the right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day.